Peligro, the Spanish word for danger. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today, my eyes are literally watering because we're in the Plaza Dignidad. It used to be called Plaza Italiana, but we're here today because I want to share with you the question that I get from a ton of you. Should I come to Chile right now or not? I've got an airplane ticket, should I come? And typically in the news, you're gonna see this place. Tons and tons of people are here, typically, to protest. And even right now, I can, I can, my eyes are like, and I can feel it in my throat, the tear gas is still left over. But as of right now, nobody is here. It's really calm. And there's a lot of graffiti everywhere, but uh, man, maybe just don't come here. <coughs> I gotta get out of this place. So right now, we're in a place that you probably shouldn't come if you're a tourist. This is the Metro Baquerano. And here, this is, uh, I mean, obviously you can see it completely destroyed. And right above here is where everybody goes for the uh, manifestations. So a bunch of people go up there for protests, things like that. This was completely burned from the, the protest. But uh, I mean, there are places that are good places still to go here in Santiago. I would definitely stay away from this plaza. Though. But uh, this, is, uh, this is what it looks like, huh? But those are the places that I wouldn't recommend, and it's really limited to a specific part of Santiago. So just be careful around that plaza area, Plaza Italiana, or as they call it now, Plaza, plaza Dignidad. But uh, what about the really touristic places? Like, uh, like this place. See that hill up there? That's, that's tourism. So this is where you typically ride the gondola up to the top of the Cerro San Cristobal, but uh, it's all closed off, which this is a massive tourist place. Like you come here, you go eat, and then you go up to the top and it's really beautiful. There's a zoo here that I've gone on, gone to with other people, but uh, at least for today, it's closed. And you're gonna run into that when you come to Santiago, that some places are going to be closed. But the beautiful part is that there are a lot of restaurants that are actually open, but you're gonna see this, I think fairly frequently, unfortunately, right now at least. But another popular place that I like to bring tourists to, people who come to visit us, family, friends, things like that, is the uh, Cerro Santa Lucia. And this just has an absolutely beautiful view of the city. And here it looks pretty normal. Everything is open, no real problems, lots of tourists yet, and uh, everybody looking at this beautiful view. Not me, but what's back there. Time out for just a second. I'm, uh, I'm in another country right now. I'm in, I'm in, well, we'll get to that in the next video. But here, there's protests going on right now. It's like 7.30 in the morning. And there's a massive 
countrywide protest here that starts super early. And it just made me think that in Chile, there's no way that you're going to start a protest that early in the morning. Usually they start later on in the day, so make sure that you check online. Usually it's going to be like, I don't know, no earlier than noon, I would say, but typically around four, six o'clock at night until, I don't know, maybe 10, 11, 12. So just be careful at night. But mornings, in Chile at least, are really pretty, I mean, in general, pretty calm. All right, it's really loud here. So back to, uh, back to the story. Just wanted to, to add that. So now many of you are left with the decision. Do I come to Chile now after seeing all these things on TV and social media, or do I wait for a, another time? Or maybe I'll never be able to come to Chile, but that's okay because I'm scared. Well, I've gotten a lot of your questions and this is, this is what I think. So if you're up for an adventure, I would 100% say, yeah, go for it. Like, come here to Chile and you'll be fine. What I would recommend you doing is staying away from the areas that are going to have the, the people protesting, obviously. But you need to check online. So I'm gonna leave some links below to places that I check online just to make sure that I'm going to safe places at, at the right time. Because you just, you just kind of never know right now, especially in bigger cities where those are, being a tourist. So I'm just gonna leave some links right below and then just check the Google Maps or whatever map system you use when you come here and then just make sure that uh, it's all good. Some places might be closed, especially in Santiago or bigger cities, but uh, that's probably for your safety or for, for other reasons, but mostly probably for your safety. So check in with that hotel before you come. Make sure that uh, everything is good with the area that you made your reservation at. And if you go outside of Santiago, outside of bigger cities, I think it's 100% just fine to come here to Chile. And even in Santiago, I was all over the place and I went to the places that are sometimes really dangerous and I checked my phone to make sure that it was fine at that time and I didn't feel like I was uh, threatened or I didn't feel scared at all but I've been here for quite a few years now and um, maybe if you're coming here for the first time and don't know the language maybe you don't think the same way as I do but I, uh, I thought that it was pretty safe because I took the necessary precautions and uh, it was fine. But I hope that this helps, and uh, this is a big topic that I don't think is going to... Uh, camera almost dropped. I don't think it's gonna go away for a while, and uh, stick with me and uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't really know what to tell you guys right now, but I do know that if you're planning a trip here to Chile, I, I personally wouldn't cancel the trip. I would come here, I would do it. I like adventure, my family is here, and we have a little boy, and he's perfectly safe. But I'm at the airport now, so uh, you'll have to see where I wind up next. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are, are right below, and we'll see you guys next time. But for now, time to, time to go through security and jump on a flight. Ciao, Pascal. And one last thing before I jump on this flight. Huge thanks to Touche Films. I'm gonna leave his link right below for helping me with this video today. I couldn't have done it without you. So uh, thanks so much, go check him out. It's pretty amazing stuff that he does. So uh, just thanks, we'll see you guys next time. Here we go. Any guesses as to where I'm going? Check me out on Instagram to find out. <laughs>